1490, FM 105.5, WGCH, WGCH WGCH.com, anywhere, WGCH News Center Time 721. Time now for Happy and Healthy at Any Age with Robin Pastor. Good morning to our listeners in Fairfield and Westchester counties, everyone listening, streaming live, Boston, Austin, Houston, Texas. Please keep your texts, comments, emails coming. I want to give a big shout-out to our friends at the Learning Clinic in the quiet corner of Connecticut, Brooklyn, Connecticut, a residential school programs for children. Check them out. They may be hiring thelearningclinic.org. And our friends at Old Greenwich Riverside Magazine doing a great job to keep neighbors together. So today's guest is... A very interesting gentleman. He has done more to help um, wildlife and to talk about the importance of staying wild. Good morning, Roberto Dutesco. Good morning. How are you? Terrific. So Roberto first came to my attention from neighbors and friends a few years back uh, because of some really unusual, unique photography and books that he has put together. Roberto, tell our listeners about the wild horses of Sable Island? Well, in the early 90s, I uh, discovered a a place off the coast of Nova Scotia uh, called Sable Island. I did a bit of research, and basically there was nothing to be found. And uh, it took me about two years to get permission to go to this particular place. Uh, Just for everyone, uh, uh, Sable Island... uh, uh, is just about 400 nautical miles from where the Titanic went down. And on this island, there are about 500 horses that, uh, are, that are totally free, unaware and unafraid of men. And uh, who brought them there? About 500 shipwrecks. The past 500 years of known history. So that's how the journey started. My God. And there's only about 500. Um, there's two residents on the island, from what I read. And yes. it is really, really hard to get permission to go on this island. Your photographs are indescribable. Um, Thank you. <laughs> they, they, you could say they are animals, wild animals in the wild, but they're more than that. They are emotion. Now, your background is photographer, filmmaker, uh, world traveler. You've lived in Montreal, New York City, Sao Paulo. Um, tell us what inspired you to dedicate your life to bringing to making the wild available to to people to see to discuss to talk about well um uh, back in romania that's where i grew up uh, in bucharest uh, just about uh, 60 minutes north of it there was a beautiful uh, uh, farmhouse where my grandparents lived and they had the gigantic library and in that library there were all these philosophers and all these places around the world and um, I uh, was very curious about uh, everything. Uh, curiosity has been basically my driving force uh, throughout uh, pretty much my life and will continue to be so uh, forever and ever. And uh, uh, curiosity brings the philosophy into play. Right. Uh, when we describe uh, things, objects, we uh, immediately uh, uh, run on, under the assumption that we know what we're talking about, in this case, a horse. We all know what it is. What if we don't know what a horse is? So that's how the journey starts. Uh, the journey into Sable Island and to the uh, documentation of the wild horses starts on a premise that I don't know anything about anything. And <laughs> therefore, when you're in front of them, that maybe um, there's a space in between that horse, that object of desire, and myself that... Uh, I can uh, have a conversation, in, and uh, those photographs happen in, in those spaces that, uh, that are outside words or descriptions. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Outside words or descriptions. Now, you have had a lot of wonderful um, press. You were in the Hamptons uh, Virtual Art Fair. Um, in the Hamptons, you've had many articles in, in throughout the UK, <laughs> New York City, um, written about your your unique books and your unique art. But you're also um, a fan of the Dalai Lama. Tell us about that. Um, well, um, uh, back in Montreal, uh, when I was shooting fashion photography, uh, uh, the city of Montreal came to me and asked me to basically uh, fill uh, four city blocks with. Uh, a gigantic show, and I proposed uh, the subject of desire at that time was peace. And uh, 
basically they gave me the four city blocks and I basic uh, and I kind of uh, I created uh, a show that comprised about 300 photographs and a section of the show had to do with uh, someone that uh, um, had uh, uh, gotten the Nobel Pri- uh, 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 Prize for a piece and uh, His Holiness the Dalai Lama uh, got that prize and then uh, I simply proposed to the city how about if I uh, go and photograph His Holiness the Dalai Lama and they asked me, well, do you know him? I said, no, I don't, but I'm just going to call, and I'm going to fly to Dharamsala in northern India, and I'm going to photograph him. And that's exactly what I did. You see, <laughs> intention creates something else, um, yes. uh, especially when it's positive. You know, I think that the universe is listening, and therefore, uh, if you go out and you go out with a good intention, then I think that the universe, or whatever you may want to call it, uh, uh, gives a helping hand. Yes, yes, I agree. Now, what, what listeners also should know, your, one of your websites is called IamWild.org, and it talks yes. about a foundation that you started. And it, it, um, I'm just going to mention that I was very happily surprised when I found out that some of your prints are, are extremely affordable, um, and they also, 25% of the, the money goes to uh, protect wildlife. I am wild. So tell us about sure. this wonderful quote on that website. We do not inherit the earth from our ancestors. We borrow the earth from our children, a Native American proverb. Um, what is your foundation? Well, um, you see, uh, 25 years in the works uh, creates a very uh, different type of uh, interest and conversation, not, not just from my perspective, but from many others. And uh, we had the longest-running show in New York City, uh, the same show in Soho ran there for about 16, 17 years. You can imagine that I have met hundreds, hundreds of thousands of people during that particular time, mm-hmm. and uh, that, that uh, basically approached me in various ways. And uh, uh, many of them discussed about the planet, about wilderness, uh, how great it is that I have done what I've done with the wild horses. Right. Uh, um, and because of it, uh, and through that, through those conversations, uh, the I Am Wild uh, thought came about, the I Am Wild Foundation came about, and uh, pretty much everything that I do, uh, beyond just 25%, goes towards conservation. We raise millions of dollars for so many different foundations. However, the I Am Wild Foundation is a platform that encourages many other foundations to come together and participate with what, with, what to, towards one thought, we are astronauts on this planet Earth. We are traveling through space at incredible speed, and therefore everything that's in front of us matters in a different way. And yes. all that is wild matters in an extraordinary way. And that's what the foundation is, and that's what yes. those conversations are about. Um, I would love for you to come back on the show because we did not get to talk about I live in Old Greenwich. I've seen your gallery <laughs> on Sound Beach Avenue. It's fantastic. Yes. And I wanted to tell our yes. listeners about how you swim in the winter at Todd's Point in Old Greenwich. But I'll be swimming <laughs> later to today, that's right. <laughs> You're going to go swimming today. So we didn't have time to talk about your swimming in the winter and why that's important to you, so maybe you'll come back again soon. But if people Love want to, to reach out to you, Roberto, and learn more or talk to you or sit with you and have coffee in your gallery in Old Greenwich, how can they reach you? Well, they should go to org, and all the information is there. Okay. And if they, if they are curious about what I do, uh, uh, the outside projects, they can go to Dutesco Arts. Dot com, and uh, there are two different numbers there. So I am wild dot org and uh, Dutesco Arts dot com. Okay, so people should look up I am wild dot org, and I encourage people to look at the gallery um, right. Dutesco Art dot com. D u t s e o a r t yes dot com. Yes. That that presents uh, the larger body of work is holiness and a few other things. Right. Beautiful, so. beautiful, 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 and um, I can't wait to bring my children. Uh, to look at your art. It's really, really... Please do. Please do. And that's Happy and Healthy at Any Age with Robin Pastor. You hear Robin's award-winning show each Tuesday morning at this time, right here on AM 1490, FM 105.5, WGCH, 